This program contains experiments which are performed by professionals. These tests are dangerous and may involve the use of hazardous materials. They should not be performed or imitated under any circumstances. The compact fluorescent bulb. It creates light, but in a very unique way. It uses electricity to excite gases present in the bulb to create a chain reaction until it finally emits visible light. First, it produces ultraviolet light, which can't be seen. Then it uses that invisible light to create fluorescent light, which we can see. That's right, it creates light, twice. The compact fluorescent bulb. It uses electricity to create an invisible light and recycles it to create a visible light. It really is an energy recycler. Okay, but how does it work? The compact fluorescent bulb. Electrodes. Tube. Inside a fluorescent coating. And a tiny drop of mercury and a mix of rare gases. For that bulb to shine a light, three things have to happen. One, electricity must flow through the gases in the bulb. Two, that electricity must excite the mercury so that it creates invisible light. And three, that light must excite the fluorescent tube's coating and make it light up. To find out how all this excitement creates visible light, we've got to bust open that bulb. First thing to know, the environment in that bulb is very special. It's all about pressure, or rather, the lack of pressure. The gas pressure in the bulb is hundreds of times lower than normal atmospheric pressure. That's key. At such low pressure, mercury becomes a gas. And that's important because that mercury vapor floats and mixes with the other gases in that tube. When the light bulb is turned on, electricity flows to the bulb through the electrodes, setting off a chain reaction. To create light, electricity must travel through the tube. But the mix of gases inside that tube is not conductive. Electric current can't flow through this mix. Electricity must transform the mix of gases inside the tube by energizing the mix. Once it's energized, the mix of gases changes state. It's now highly conductive. An electric current can flow through it. This is when the mercury vapor becomes essential. When an electric current excites mercury, it reacts by emitting ultraviolet light, invisible light. Now that bulb has created light, once. It can't be seen, but it's got a lot of energy. That's a good thing, because the bulb's a great energy recycler. When that invisible but high energy light reaches the fluorescent coating on the inside of the tube, that energy's not lost, because it then excites the fluorescent coating. The coating absorbs all the energy from the ultraviolet light. When fluorescent matter is excited by an invisible but highly energetic light, it reacts. It emits light. Light that has less energy than the ultraviolet radiance that provoked it, but light that's visible. Inside that bulb, light's been created twice. Awesome. The compact fluorescent bulb. It's an incredible invention. It uses electricity to transform a mix of gases and make it conductive. Then uses the electric current to excite mercury, which emits invisible light which excites the fluorescent coating, which emits visible light. Phew! That bulb takes an invisible light and recycles it to create a visible light. It really is an energy recycler.